Wow, there we go. Big old ditch. Oh, she's feeling a little bit under pressure. She's starting to breathe weird. Mm. On a scale of one to ten in nervousness, ten being terrible, what are you? Nine. A nine. Oh, God. What's that all about? Okay, that's just not great, is it? Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. We are off to another four star event. We are heading off to the awkward Aston the Walls, just with Zebedee in the four star. We thought we'd take you along with us because we know how much you love a four star event. We've got dressage tomorrow morning, show jumping and cross country on Wednesday. So we're just packing the lorry getting Zeb ready and we're going to head off this afternoon and take you along with us so you can see how we get on. Okay, just packing some of my stuff. So I've got my cross country colours. I've got the malt loaf, of course, always got to have the malt loaf. I've also got my lucky, it's now my lucky cuddly jumper that I had at the last four star, so that's got to come with me. Hairbrush, my show stuff, and also I love a hot cross bun. I think they've been in a few vlogs. So getting that in, ready to go. I know a lot of you asked for a lorry tour. We're hoping to do that in the future. It's a little bit of a mess now, but we will definitely do a lorry tour in the future. As Dad says, he is part of the easy load system. Don't show me up, Zebedee. In he goes. He is very excited and raring to go to his four star. Easy as that. If only they were all that easy. After my last four star where we came ninth, I'd like to have a good dressage, hopefully follow up and have another good score. Go clear on the cross country and hopefully go clear in the show jumping. But I just want to complete another four star, get it under my belt, mainly just enjoy and have fun and for Zeb to come home safe. to go and head over, find his stable, sort that stable out, set him up, and then I'm gonna get on and give him a school. We're off to the stable. Yeah, we found the stable. So we've just come back, got our wheelbarrow fork, a knife to open the haylage. We've got some water buckets. We're gonna go and make the stable up. I always like to school them, um, or school him specifically when I get to an event because he does get a little bit overexcited. We'll make mum come with me to not that she's that happy about that. Normally she likes to go and make the dinner, but she'll have to do both today. Hey? Eh? There's a dog for good measure. Yeah. So they've actually been very kindly giving us three bells of shavings, but we're only here for two nights, so I don't think we need the third, so we're going to just take the third home. Stable already. Hey. His breakfast he didn't eat, bedding, water. I was just letting him have a quick graze before putting him in. Oh my God. <laughs>
guys it is now tuesday morning i think it's about half past six i am just going to feed zebedee in my pajamas got the old cuddle me jumper on underneath my coat but it's a bit cold so i put my coat on i've got my dressage at 905 so quite an early start today but then we've just got all day to walk the course and get ourselves sorted so just going to feed him early on get changed and then I'm going to put the massage pad on and plait him and get ready for my dressage. So let's go and feed Zeb. There he is, you've had a little lie down. He's looking good, raring to go. Shall we leave you to eat your breakfast? Oh, there we go. Slowly does it. So how are you feeling today, Ash? We're roughly on schedule. I need to be on in about eight minutes. Dad's left him not tied up, so... The horse doesn't really need tying up. That's overrated tying him up, to be honest. That's what Dad will say until the horse has then escaped. I'm feeling good. I just would like to try and do a similar test to at Burnham Market, but... And also, we're on a surface today, so I don't know if that will be yeah, good, bad so or indifferent. It might be different. It might be better. We're not sure. But we're just going to give it our best, keep him forward so he doesn't come back at me and get too tense. You're riding the test rather than riding the horse. Yeah. Two different things completely. Same morning, Bella. Bella, same morning. Going to do his quarter markings in a minute. I normally do those because I make a better job than Ashley, but we're going to let her have a go today because she seems to think she's better than me, but I don't rate her. I'm just holding the horse here now. He's getting a bit weird. If she wants someone to help her, she can give me a shout at any point. Probably give her a, probably a solid six there, but not great. didn't go very well did it <laughs> didn't go well at all I don't know. He, I think he just got himself well a bit overexcited and then 
he just didn't want me to put my leg on so he did it a bit in the warm-up i tried to keep the pressure on in there both holds he did and didn't try and go backwards so i thought okay and then the first flying change he didn't do which is just annoying because he can actually do clean flying changes and then i was like right i'm gonna get my leg on for this next flying change still then didn't do the flying change correct turn right and then he just decided no i don't want you to keep putting your leg on stopped and reversed and when he starts reversing like that there is nothing you can do bar put your leg on and wait it out until he goes forward again the bit where he went backwards they'll probably give me about a two <laughs> Unless they're being kind. <laughs> we get a 39. We're going to have a four in I front of it. There'll be a four in front. 39, I think we'd be quite, we'd be quite happy. We're on the but surface here, so that's unusual for him as well. So the whole thing's confused him, I think. Yeah, actually, done. the other place he did this at Mill Street yeah, was on a surface. Yeah, oh, well. Lucky we you even got him at this level because he's not really... No, you shouldn't really be going around four. You've done so. a great job to get yeah, him to this level, to, to be fair. it, really, and laugh. So we have just found out our dressage score and where we came. Not really surprising, <laughs> it was our worst score that we've ever got. We got 45.1. Pretty terrible. 10 worse than Bernard Mark. He went from 35 to 45. So we're currently in a hundredth out of 100 people. <laughs> but that is apparently how Zeb and I rock and roll, isn't it, Zeb? Well, <laughs> you've been eliminated though, you didn't go between the flags. Okay, so we are just heading to start walking the four star cross country course ready for tomorrow. We will film and take you along. Fence one is a rather large roll top, which is very wide. Three, a big log pile. Number six skinny wow there we go big old ditch not sure how many strides that is it's probably irrelevant yeah, Evan. Of course they are not okay. irrelevant <laughs> we've now been caught in the rain not got enough clothing on we're gonna soldier on And this is how you were walking earlier on. Is this how you were walking? <laughs> Don't pull down that hill now. Another combination and a rather large tracana. Wow. And then we're also going over that corner over there. Isn't it this big brush roll top thing? <laughs> That's what it says on the front. To be a corner. Table, nice fence. The last fence on the cross country course, number 24, also the same as the intermediate. It's a nice course, it's definitely jumpable. The tracana to the corner that I definitely, definitely, definitely want to watch because I want to see how people take their line and how that's riding. I think that's the one that's going to catch people out, but we're on quite early, so I want to just be prepared for tomorrow morning. Now she's feeling a little bit under pressure. She's starting to breathe weird. No, just feeling a bit nervous. Just feeling very nervous. So in, on a scale of one to ten in nervousness, ten being terrible. What are you? Nine. And nine. So anybody out there knows when they're doing a competition at any height, nerves play a big part. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I was going to say you, the first one. Yeah. Good yeah. boy. Good boy. He was really good. I just, the first one. That was you. That was you. Yeah, 100%. I still felt I rode well, but when I did it at Burnham, I just didn't fiddle. I didn't do anything. And I know you could just say, oh, we just don't fiddle. But it's not the act of it. It's just the... It's the mental thing. I'm 95% there. And then the other event's 100%. I mean, I still might have had the seven because that was because I felt like I then was riding that. I shouldn't have had one, that was me. But he was still amazing and, you know, saved the clear when I'm not in a hundredth yeah. place. So. Well, we're never going to be. Even if we'd have gone minus ten, we wouldn't get anywhere. No. <laughs> we are now just getting ourselves organised for the um, cross country. Ashley's got all her equipment on. We are just the saddle because it could possibly slipped back. So we're going to just... He's having, a, he's having a little wriggle there. You see Ashley there getting her gloves on. Zebedee's ears are pricked, ready to rock and roll. I've been running for so long, I'm clear about the path I was on. I was breathless, my heart restless. Every time felt like it was wrong, but I kept going to show I was strong. Yeah. I did four there, he took, uh, took a sh almost a stride out, bang on. Jacana to the thing, smashed yeah, it. Yeah, Dad said he could yeah. see that. And the water, I need practice because I'm still tipping forward on landing, so I put an extra one there. He was just amazing. I'm 4.4. Yeah, I was, is that 10 seconds too slow? If I'd been in the running, let's say, I probably could have made it. Yeah. But I, there was no point in me pushing on the straights. Yeah. I was no. Just hammering him for no reason. Yeah. No, we, He's he was just proper. amazing again. What a good boy. Such a good boy. Good boy. Okay, so we are just letting Zeb have some grass, have a bit of a graze after a fantastic clear round cross country, aren't we, Zebedee? He's got his ice boots on. Oh, I'm so happy with him. He's just amazing. And I just felt like, actually, compared to Burnham, 
that well that was the best four star round i've ever ridden I felt like i was slightly less nervous and when i was out on the cross country i was really focusing on riding the lines and getting it right this time so even though it wasn't our best score today after burnham we're just we're still new to this level and it was a tough course and the show jumping especially was tough you know we were in a section of 100 people all of which are like the top pros trying to go to the olympics so just to finish on a good you know solid result again that is all i can ask from myself and zebedee zeb do you want this carrot yeah he loves carrots and polos good boy he doesn't like cuddles we can't normally kiss him that much can we good boy <laughs> and he's annoyed now and it's raining so i'm gonna put him in the stable so we have just completed our fifth ever four star with an awesome clear cross country the dressage we don't really want to talk about that that did not go to plan but you know what their horses they sometimes do that we can forgive him because he made up for it with the cross country the show jumping we did have two down the first fence was my fault so that's fine it's just still a little bit of nerves that i'm getting at this these four stars um, and then we just have one down so really we we'll just call it one down super proud of zebedee another brilliant result and a good experience for both of us i hope you've enjoyed this vlog scott wasn't here to film but mum and dad did make a lot of effort so hopefully uh, you like all of their footage i hope you enjoyed it uh, please like share and subscribe really appreciate it thank you so much for all of the comments and the likes and the views for all of my other vlogs and we will see you for the next one as dad says he is part of the easy loader system another quality day for the horse good boy he's a clever boy no, no.